it's hot outside. That's also why I had a whole bunch of breath. Anyways, hey you guys, I miss you guys. It's hot outside, I miss you guys. And we're inside and it's hot outside. Anyways, we have a good book. This book is hilarious. But it's really messed up what happens in this book. This book is called The Man with Bad Manners. Have you ever known someone with bad manners? I have. I know a lot of people with bad manners. Um, but all you can do is help them get good manners. Okay, so this is by Idris Sha 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 Sha. Title page, The Man with Bad Manners by Idris Here we go, you guys. Once upon a time, many, many years ago, when the birds flew upside down, there was a village. Everyone who had a house in the village also had a field. And in their field, they grew potatoes and carrots and cabbages and all kinds of other crops. Now, all the people who lived in the village were very courteous and well-behaved, except for one man who had very bad manners. Whenever anybody said, good morning, to the man with bad manners, he would say, blah, blah, blah. And when anybody say, good evening, to him, he would say, blee, blee, blee. The people would become annoyed when he did this. And they would say, why do you have such bad manners? For a long time, the people weren't too bothered by the man's behavior. They knew good manners from bad manners, and most of the time, they didn't take much notice of the man with bad manners. But one day, he got worse. He began to go out at night and stand outside different houses and he would beat tin cans and make horrible noises. Bang, bang, bang. This, was wake, this would wake the people up. And they would lean out of their windows and say, Why are you making such a racket? They're like, what? Okay, so you're doing a lot. <laughs> but he would just beat the cans harder. Bang, 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 bong, bang, bing, bang. The people simply didn't know what to do with him. Look, they just tired of him. Look, look, look. Look at that over his ear. She's like, ooh. <laughs> He's like, I know. Oh, oh, they're mad. They look, they got the dog out there. Mm, he's doing a lot. Now, one day, the man with the bad manners went to stay with some friends in another village. And the people were so glad he was going away that they all gathered to watch him walk out of town. That is so messed up. <laughs> Among those watching was a very clever boy. As soon as the man was out of sight, the clever boy stood on a box and called all the people to come together. And when the people had gathered, the clever boy said, I want to talk to you about the man with bad manners. Politician. Everyone spoke at once. He's gone. Thank goodness. Yes, he's gone. What a relief. Why should we talk about him? But he's going to come back, said the clever boy. You're right, said the old woman. He's going to come back. And then he'll just annoy us all over again. Yes, indeed said the old man. What can we do, cried the people. I have an idea, said the clever boy. <laughs> I've thought of a way to make him change his ways. Tell us, quickly, shouted the people. Well, said the clever boy. The man has a field, and in his field he's growing potatoes. While he's away, we'll take the potatoes out and put carrots in their place. <laughs> Then, when he comes back, we can pretend that it isn't his field and that it isn't even his village. What about his house? asked the old woman. He'll go into his house and he'll know that it's his village because he'll see his house right there. Like, duh. Right? His house is red, said the clever boy. Well, we'll paint it green so he'll think that it's some other house.
That. <laughs> what if he goes inside? Asked the old woman. I thought of that too, said the clever boy. Well, we'll paint the walls a different color. And we'll paint the furniture a different color. And then we'll rearrange it. He's sure to think thin that is someone else's house. <laughs> what good will that do? Several people said. Well, said the clever boy, he'll either go away or he'll change his ways. You know, hmm, said the old woman, it just may work. And so all the people got together and they worked very hard. They dug up all the man's potatoes and put carrots in the ground in their place. They painted the walls inside of his house. Okay, so they broke into this man's house and they're painting walls and they're rearranging his furniture. They're painting his furniture. They painted the walls inside the house. They painted all the furniture. That furniture was crunchy after that. And they rearranged everything so that it all looked quite different. Not long afterwards, the man with the bad manners came back. As he walked into the village, he said, blah, 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 and blee, blee, blee to everyone he saw. And he hit tin cans just as hardly as ever. Bang, bang, bang. The people gathered around him, and the clever boy said, hello there. Who are you? You know who I am, said the man with the bad manners, banging on a can. Oh, no, we don't, said the people. Yes, you do. This is my potato field, said the man, pointing to his field. Mm, but there's carrots in this field, said the little clever boy, pulling a carrot out of the ground. This can't be your field. Mm -mm, this is cold-blooded. But my house is right over there, said the man. What color is your house, asked the clever boy. You know perfectly well my house is red said the man. Mm, but this house is green, said the clever boy. The man looked carefully at his house and said, good heavens, that house is green. And then he ran over to the window and looked inside and saw that everything was quite unfamiliar. Dear me, said the man, scratching his head. Maybe I didn't come from this village after all. He looked around at the villagers and then looked down at the ground. And all of a sudden, he became very sad. But if I, I don't come from this village, where do I come from? It's a secret, said the clever boy. But we can tell you the secret only on one condition. You must promise to use good manners and speak courteously and behave properly from now on. If you promise that, we'll tell you the secret. I promise, I promise, said the man. Please tell me. And then the people all spoke at once. We painted your house on the inside. We put carrots in your field. We painted the inside. We painted all your furniture. And then we rearranged it. We did it to teach you a lesson, said the clever boy. But now that you have promised to behave yourself, we'll change everything back. And we can all live happily ever after. So the man with bad manners promised again to change his ways. He promised and he promised and he promised. And then the people changed everything back for him. Oh, no, it'd be more than that. There's no changing everything back. We're going to call 911. They broke it. From then on, when anyone said, good morning to the man, he replied cheerily, good morning to you. And when everyone said, good evening to the man, he replied courteously, Good evening to you. He better, because they're going to break it into his house and they're going to paint everything and rearrange his stuff and take out his potato. He better be smiling at this point, uh, unless he wants to move. And he never banged another can ever. And so indeed, everyone did live happily ever after. It worked. Ah! <laughs> this is hilarious. But this is a prank that you cannot do. You cannot break into people's house start painting their stuff, rearranging their things, pulling up their crops. Can't do it. This is super, super funny. I miss you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. If you want a story that you want me to read, if I can get my hands on it, I'll read it, okay? I miss y'all. Bad manners. Good manners. If you meet somebody with bad manners, teach them one good thing. <laughs> I love y'all.